Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and let's continue to use our e-commerce plugin for WordPress. This is WP eCommerce. So our website now has a products page with some sub pages. No products yet. The way this looks in the back end is under the pages category. Under the pages category, if we view all pages, we have the ones we've seen before, about us, contact, etc. But now we've got products, checkout, transaction results, your account. If we look at products page, it simply has a placeholder where the plugin is, is uh, actually active. If we take a look at our text or code view, it's simply a short code products page. So that one little bit of line of code activates your shopping cart wherever you set it up. That of course works in conjunction with the plugin we installed. So our products are going to be shown there. Well, how do we add products and such? On the left side, we now have a category of products. This is where we can manage the products like uh, delete products, add products, etc. If we look under products category, we have nothing yet, so it's, easy, it's an easy matter of adding a new product. So we have a spot to add the product name, product description, very similar to adding a post or a page, but then many more boxes. We've got uh, tags to organize, product categories to organize. We have something known as variations. So think about this. Let's say you're selling t-shirts. You're probably selling large, medium, and small sizes. Those are variations, and they may cost different things. They may have different values. We can set a featured image, uh, add product gallery images, so more than one, set prices, regular price, sale price. If our product is on an external website like Amazon, we can add the link here. If we have a uh, stock uh, control number, we can add that there. That's optional. An additional description, depending on the theme, this may or may not be used. How, do you, are, how are you taxing your products? That's another video. We'll get to that later. If it's a downloadable product, we'll see product download and be able to upload. It can be pretty much anything, PDFs, MP3s, JPEGs, etc. Shipping, that's another can of worms. We'll get to that later. And advanced settings, which are kind of advanced for us, but we'll be able to add more functionality. So let me go ahead and add a product. This is Victor's Bakery, so I'm going to say we have the VMC Pecan Pie. This automatically creates a new item in our database. I'll add some description. We will say uh, all natural traditional pecan pie just like grandma used to make. Since a picture is worth a thousand words, let me go search for a picture of pecan pie to borrow. So I'm going to get a picture of a pecan pie. So that I can add it to my featured image. It's as simple as selecting it, uploading it. We have a few options for the size of the thumbnail. Pretty self-explanatory, but I'll leave it as the default. 
set featured image. All right, so I've got that picture. Categories. It's a good idea to organize your product. So I'll add a new product category. This will be pies. I can have more than one pie. So I've added the pie category. Tags is similar to organization, but this is for more fine grain organization, where I can have many types of pies within this category. Here, perhaps I can link them via ingredient or uh, nationality of pastry and such. Um, so you can further organize your products. Uh, I'm not going to have any variations at the moment. So we've got the name of the product, a little description, featured image. Next we need a price. So I'm going to say um, $10. I don't have to fill in the rest for the moment, but I want to now publish. So if I look at this from the front end, go back to my main page, doesn't show up here yet. Uh, it's under Products page. And I've got a new product, VMC Pecan Pie. Click the picture, you get the large version of it. Click the description, and it changes to focus on the product. Go back. I can click Add to Cart. It's been added to my cart where I can go to checkout. And I've got a checkout scenario. This still needs to be set up, but we'll get to that. So now you see how easy it is to add a product. And we're going to continue with setting up our storefront using WP eCommerce for WordPress on our next video.